this is my uh, 700 c tire show you in here uh it's a they don't now my 700 c bike is a road bike it is not a mountain bike and you can see it says hybrid tire it's got mountain bike tread on the tire but it's still road so, so they don't call it mountain they call it hybrid for a road bike but see that uh liner built into that tire it's uh it's you know it's not kevlar it don't have to be Kevlar. Now, I've got one of those liners individually here. You can buy them separately and put in, put in the tire yourself. But I like the integration. See, that's molded into the tire. And that's much better because the one I have was loose. It's about that same. Mine's green. But it's still, it's still a, a liner like you see there. It goes in the tire just like you see. But the one I've got that's loose, uh, the problem with it... It can move your new tire. If it moves your new tire, I have took my tire off and found mine where it's moved in, moved around the tire. And so if it moves, it won't protect the tube. Whereas this one here, it's molded into the tire, which is 100% better. It won't move on you. So it, stay, it, it, it stays in uh, place 100% of the time and it protects your tire. Now them liners, uh, I've used them for years. The ones, you know, uh, I've not had the ones molded like this. I've always put them in separate, the liners. Uh, they're called flat stops, what they're called, if you buy them individually. I mean, well, I've used them for years. Now, it says here, a resistant. See how it says that? Peace of mind, reinforced puncture resistance layer. Now, I've used them long enough where it's very close to... It's very close to proof, not resistance. Why I'm saying that is, the only thing I've ever had to penetrate that was a commercial staple. Now, you know, a commercial staple would be two-sided. You know, it would be sharp on uh, either end. But uh, normally, uh, when a sharp thing, an object hits your tire, it just one, just one point. That commercial staple was two points. It was it was dark in color, so I remember hitting it because I felt a bump or two. But what happened? Uh, since it was two pointed, it stuck in my tire, and it went down perfectly plumb with my tire. So it was it was perfect. It looked like the tire itself. It was dark in color, so it was hard to spot. I even turned my wheel a few times and finally found the staple. But that's the only thing I've ever had to penetrate. I mean, not put it this way. They're so close to puncture proof. That liner, it's so close. It's like 99.99%. Well, one more percent would be puncture proof. But I've used them for years. They make it sound like it's resistance. It's a high resistance. I want you to understand that. You know, this ain't my first time using these liners, protective liners. I've used them for a long time, and they're very, very good at protecting your uh, tube. The only exception if your tube is pinched in the first place. But there's a way around that. You first you air it up, let the air out. Do that Do that two or three times. Don't fully inflate your tire. Inflate it enough where it wants to tug on that on that where it's pinched out. He wants to pull it out gently. So air up your tire, let the air out. Pump it up and, and let the air out two or three times to get that. If just, just act like there is a pinch in the tube. Do that. Have no pinches in the tube, and that liner will do you very, very good. But... Uh, they should, I mean, legally, that's why they say resistance, but it's like 1%, in my opinion, 1% from being puncture-proof. They're very good at uh, preventing flats and bike tires. And I love it because it's integrated. Being integrated, molded in the tire, it won't move, makes it that much more protective.